Hey guys, it's Jennifer with The Family Fudge, and welcome back to Bunches of Lunches. This week I have a very special episode for you, because not only am I sharing lots of fun, but easy, Christmas-themed lunches, but these lunches were chosen by another mystery YouTube family, and this is a family that a lot of you guys suggested. Today's mystery family is Phillips Fam Bam. Now, I personally feel like I've known these guys for a long time. I've collabed with them in the past, and serious, you guys, they are awesome. You guys should definitely check them out. I know you'll love them too, especially if you like challenge videos, grocery hauls, cooking videos, and on their channel, they really try to focus on showing uplifting and positive content, stuff that the whole family can enjoy watching together. All of this week's lunches were chosen by Phillips Bam Bam, and they came up with some awesome ideas. I can't wait to share them with you. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Hi guys, and welcome to Monday. Our first lunch this week was chosen by Miss Emberlyn. She is eight years old, and for her, I'm going with a snowman theme. For this lunch, I'm gonna start by making a delicious turkey sandwich. And to make it extra special, I'm going to attempt to make it look like a snowman face. For this, I'm gonna take my big circle cookie cutter and cut out the bread. Next, I'm adding a little bit of mayo and some turkey. And now comes the fun part. For the snowman's eyes, I'm going to use some olives. For his nose, a carrot, of course. And for his mouth, some smaller pieces of olive. Now this snowman is looking pretty cute, but I definitely think he needs a hat. And to do that, I'm going to cut up some cucumber. I'm going to use one large rectangle piece and one small rectangle piece. I'm going to add both of these pieces to a pick and then stick it into the sandwich. Now Miss Emberlyn requested some peppers in her lunch today, so I'm gonna use these peppers as the snowman's scarf. I think that turned out so cute. He looks like a happy little snowman. The next thing that Emberlyn requested in her lunch was some cheese. So I'm gonna take this Baby Bell cheese and make it a little bit more festive. Now this is actually really easy. All you need is some construction paper and tape. That's it. So with my construction paper, I've created sort of a Santa's belt, and I'm just gonna stick it on there with a little bit of washi tape. For the treat today, we're going with a Christmas classic, which is a gingerbread cookie, but I'm taking some help from the store, Trader Joe's to be exact. I know Phillips Fam Bam loves Trader Joe's just as much as I do. So I'm gonna take this already made gingerbread cookie dough, and I'm gonna use my own cutters to make them really cute. I have a snowman shape and a gingerbread shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these into the oven. They shouldn't take very long at all. And while those are baking, I can go ahead and build the lunchbox. I'm gonna get our snowman in there. I'm gonna add his hat and his scarf. Now for the fruit of today's lunch, Miss Emberlyn requested strawberries. Next to those, I'm gonna add in our Santa Baby Bell cheese. I'm also adding some more bell peppers in the shape of a Christmas tree. For an added snack today, we're going with some pretzels, and these are actually the pretzel thins from Trader Joe's. Oh yes, and these have some of the everything but the bagel seasoning on them. They're super good. And now that our gingerbread cookies are done and they've cooled off, I can go ahead and add those to the lunch. Now for Emberlyn's drink, she's chosen some juice and I thought it would be really fun if I went with a snowman juice. Of course, this is Olaf, my favorite snowman of all time. And there we have it. Here's the lunch that Emberlyn chose for us. We're back home now and here's what we ate. Right now I've got Jackson with me. He's gonna tell us what he thought of today's lunch. I actually really liked it. What about your cucumber? No. <laughs> you didn't like that part? What was your favorite? Um, I liked the gingerbread. Really? I was surprised that the kids liked them. I thought they were a little bit overcooked, but as you can tell, there are no cookies left. They went fast. What part didn't you like? Um, I didn't like the cucumbers and also the the peppers, yeah, I see that there's quite a bit of peppers left over, but that's okay. Raw peppers can be a little strong. Now it's time to hear from Mackenzie. What do you think? It was cool. It was what? <laughs> <laughs> it was cool? <laughs> what was your favorite part? I really liked that gingerbread cookie that we had. Yeah? I liked the sandwich, I liked the strawberries. What did you think about the peppers? Not that good. No. 
And last but not least, we have Lily. What do you think, Lily? It was so yummy. Yeah, what was your favorite? Um, the gingerbread. Yeah, everyone liked the gingerbread. Nobody liked the peppers. Um, <laughs> what do you think about the pretzels? They're gone. They're so yummy. Mom, did Emberlyn pick this one? She sure did. Do you give it a thumbs up? Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy Tuesday, friends. Today's lunch was chosen by Ethan. Ethan is 11 years old, and for him, I went with an elf on the shelf theme. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have an elf on the shelf at your house. Now for Ethan's lunch, he chose a DIY Lunchable, which I love to make. These are so fun. Of course, I'm gonna make mine a Christmas theme. Now the next thing on Ethan's list is something really cute. I'm gonna take these stalks of celery and I'm gonna start by cutting them in half. Next, I'm gonna fill them all with chunky peanut butter. Then I'm gonna add some candy eyes, some pretzels, and a red M&M to make these guys look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. These came out so cute, I'm pretty sure my kids will love them. And now it's time to get everything into the lunchbox, starting with our cheese, the turkey pepperoni, the crackers, and the slices of turkey. And I like to put these in separate cupcake liners so the crackers won't get soggy and everything can stay fresh. Now it's time to add in our celery reindeer. Next I'm gonna add the fruit, which is gonna be a combination of green grapes and red raspberries. That red and green combo is perfect for Christmas. Next on Ethan's list was some pirate booty, which is like a cheddar popcorn, but my local store has something called Sailor's Loot, which is almost the same thing. For the drink today, Ethan's chosen some Gatorade, and I went with the red one because it's a Christmassy color. Now my kids have never had Gatorade, so it'll be interesting to see if they like it or not. And there you have it. Lunch is over now, and here's what we ate. Now it looks like there's a lot of food left, but not really that much. Right now, I've got Lily, Jackson, and Mackenzie here to tell me what they thought. But first, let's hear from Lily. This one's Lily, so she just has a few little bites left. One raspberry, one grape. So, Lily, what'd you think? Um, my favorite pie's the Gatorade, and the Gatorade was so yummy. So yummy? What part didn't you like? The grapes, they were kind of sour and old. Okay, Jackson, what was your favorite part? Uh, the Gatorade. The Gatorade. Well, it looks like you did pretty good. There's a little bit of cheese left, not too much. What was your least favorite part? Uh, my least favorite part is the grapes. <laughs> yeah. Now let's hear from Mackenzie. What do you think? It was cool. What was your favorite part and what was something that you didn't like? Um, I didn't really like the Gatorade, though. No, you're not a fan of Gatorade? No, but I did like the little Rudolph celery things, but the sprinkles were hard. Those eyeball sprinkles, yeah. They're cute, but they can be really hard. I don't know that I, I actually like to eat those, but they are cute. We give Ethan's lunch a thumbs up. I will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, and welcome to Wednesday. Today's lunch was chosen by Elijah. He is 10 years old, and for him, I went with the buffalo check and red truck theme. I'm gonna start his lunch by heating up some chicken noodle soup. If you're looking for a good recipe, I'll go ahead and link mine in the description box below if you wanna check it out. It's nothing fancy, but man, does it smell good. So I'll go ahead and put these in the thermoses and move on to our fruit. For this, I'm using some medium-sized skewers, some strawberries, some banana, mini marshmallows, and regular-sized marshmallows. Now these didn't turn out exactly like I thought they would, but basically it's supposed to resemble a Santa face with a hat. You have a marshmallow for his beard, and then the banana part is his face, and then the white part for his cap, and then the strawberry for his hat, and so on. I went ahead and stuck in some raisins for his eyes, and one red M&M for his nose. These didn't turn out exactly like I thought they would, but it'll be okay. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and slice up some cucumber, and I'm gonna use my snowflake cookie cutter to make them extra fun. Now, I know Elijah likes marshmallows, so for today's treat, I'm going with some Rice Krispie treats. And I'm just making a very small batch here, and I'm going to use my red truck with a Christmas tree cookie cutter to cut them out. I'm also adding some red sprinkles on the truck part, some green sprinkles on the tree part, 
and then I'm gonna let that set up. I think that turned out pretty cute. And now it's time to add everything to the lunchbox. I'm also adding in a roll to go with the soup. In go the cucumbers. Then we have our little red truck treat and the soup, of course. And then to drink today, I have a little juice box. Okay guys, lunch is over, and as you can tell, nobody really liked their banana. You didn't like it, Lily? It was kind of mushy. Mushy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those bananas are not very sweet, so I don't really blame them. But it looks like everything else is okay. I see a couple of cucumbers left and just a little bit of the soup left. And that's actually pretty good, because my kids are usually not big fans of soup, but I think the soup is really good. Lily, what was your favorite part? Was the rolls, they were yummy. The uh, bread roll, yeah, mm -hmm. Hawaiian rolls are tasty. What do you think about your soup? Um, kind of good. Kind of good. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the soup is really good, but I do have to say that most of my kids are not huge soup fans. What do you think about the Rice Krispie? Um, it was, it was so yummy. Now, I, <laughs> I had to already clean these up because they were cute, but all the sprinkles on top, way, way too messy. I would definitely not make it like that. Again, I would just leave them plain. And now it's Kenzie's turn. What'd you think, Kenzie? What was your favorite part? My favorite part was the roll. The bread, yeah. It was Lily weird. said she liked the roll too. But what'd you think about the soup? I don't really like soup. No. Okay, Jack, what about you? I really liked it. What was your favorite part? Um. I like the Rice Krispie Treat. Yeah, it's kind of messy though, huh? Mm -hmm. What was your least favorite part? Um, the soup. The soup, you guys. <laughs> you didn't think it tasted good or you just don't like it because it's soup? I don't think it tasted good. Oh man, oh well. <laughs> Next time I'll just make soup for me then. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys and happy Thursday. Today's lunch was chosen by Brayden who's actually the oldest child of the Phillips Bam Bam. He is 17 years old. And for this lunch, I'm going with a Santa theme. For today's lunch, I'm gonna start by making a turkey roll up. And since it's Christmas, I'm gonna be using a green spinach tortilla. Now it doesn't really taste like spinach, so don't worry. I just think it looks really cool. To this, I'm gonna add a little bit of herb cream cheese, followed by some slices of turkey, some cheddar, a few pieces of bacon, and just a few pieces of spinach. Next, I'm gonna roll this up and pop it into the fridge. That way it'll be a lot easier to cut when I'm ready to cut it. For the vegetable today, Brayden picked out carrots. So now that I have my turkey roll-ups all sliced, I'm gonna put them into the box in sort of a Christmas tree shape. For the fruit today, we're doing another red and green combo with some fresh kiwi and some fresh raspberries. And you guys, these are Driscoll's berries. I know the Phillips Fam Bam are big fans of the Driscoll berries. Next, I'm gonna add in a few decorations. If I was really making this for a teenager, I would probably leave these out. In the separate container, I'm gonna add the carrots. And then to go with this lunch, I'm also adding a full yogurt. And this is the eggnog flavored, of course, perfect for Christmas. Also, to go with today's lunch, we're gonna add some popcorn. And then for a special treat today, I'm gonna add just a few of the winter Oreos. My kids have not tried these, but they are definitely very cute. They have little snowflakes on them and snowmen, and the filling is red, perfect for Christmas. And that brings us to the drink. If I was really making this lunch for Brayden, I would throw in a Dr. Pepper, because that's what he likes. But my kids are not fans of Dr. Pepper, so I'm gonna keep this one for me and just give my kids water. And there you have it. There's everything in Brayden's lunch for today. Okay guys, lunchtime is over and it looks like the turkey roll-ups were a hit. I don't see any left over, but Jackson was the only one who ended up wanting a yogurt, so the girls didn't have any yogurt, but he ate all of it, so that's pretty cool. I see a few carrots left, a few pieces of kiwi. There are no Oreos left, of course. Lily, Lily, Mackenzie, what was your favorite part? My favorite part was the roll-ups. The roll-ups, yeah. I had a couple of them too, and I thought they were really good. And now it's Lily's turn. What was your favorite, honey? Um, I like the popcorn. The popcorn, yeah, that was a good popcorn. Anything else? Um, I 
see that you ate all your sandwiches, so that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Those were tasty. Hey guys, and happy Friday. Today we're making Ashlyn's lunch. Ashlyn is 14 years old, and for her, I'm going with a Christmas tree theme. And I'm gonna start by making her a special sandwich. This is something she requested. So this is peanut butter and jelly in the shape of a Christmas tree. But then I'm gonna add a little star pick at the top, and I'm gonna add some mini M&Ms to look like ornaments on the tree and I'm gonna poke them down into the bread so that they'll stay. To go along with this lunch, I'm also adding in a snowman string cheese. This is really easy to do with just some construction paper, a Sharpie, and some washi tape. And now it's time to fill the lunch box. Sandwich goes in first, followed by some green grapes and some strawberries. And we can't forget our snowman cheese. And then in this separate container, I'm gonna add some cheesy tree crackers. That's really hard for me to say. And then for our vegetable today, I'm just gonna add in some sugar snap peas. And I kind of cut them at an angle so that they'll look like a Christmas tree. Now for Ashlyn's treat, she chose red and green M&Ms. And I'm actually gonna put them in this round snack container because I think it looks like a Christmas ornament. Something you might put on your tree. I think this container is so fun. I found it at Michael's and it's definitely reusable. Oh yes, and we can't forget the drink of the day, which is going to be a little bit of flavored water. Okay friends, it is much later now. In fact, I'm having a hard time remembering what was actually in this lunch, but I've got Mackenzie with me and I bet she's gonna remember. Do you remember? Yes. It was grapes and berries and sugar snap peas peanut butter and jelly. I see all the M&Ms are gone, of course. But what was your favorite part? I really like the PB&J. Yeah, yours is all gone. You guys did pretty good. There's just a few grapes left, but those grapes were not very good. And now it's little sister's turn. Lily, what'd you think? Yummy. <laughs> just yummy? What was your favorite part? Um, this and this. The M&Ms, yeah. And I only, I only put a few in, in here. I didn't give them like a full thing of M&Ms because that, that would be a lot of M&Ms. But you like your sandwich? I mm -hmm. see it's gone. And you ate the you ate the insides of your sugar snap peas. Is that the best part? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Should we ask Jackson what he liked? Jackson! So what was your favorite part? I like the strawberries and the crackers. Strawberries and the crackers. Well. I don't know if I'll make you a PB&J again, but other than that, you did a pretty good job. See you next week, and Merry Christmas! Don't forget to go check out Phillips Fam Bam. I will link their channel down below. And if you're looking for even more fun Christmas lunch ideas, you have to go check out Family Fun Pack. They just did a Christmas themed lunch video that is awesome. Go watch it and let them know that the Family Fudge sent you. Thanks for watching guys. Merry Christmas and we'll see you next week. Did you find a Luna lunchbox in today's video? If you did, let us know in the comments down below where you found her and use the hashtag LunaLunchbox. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.